Hi everyone, my name is Philip. I am a machine learning engineer at Hugging Face and also the tech lead for our collaboration with AWS. Today I will show you in a few minutes how you can run inference batch transform jobs on Amazon SageMaker using the Hugging Face DLC. In the example, we are going to use the already fine-tuned transformer model from the Hugging Face Hub to predict um, the sentiment on tweet data. So let's get started. In the example, we are going to use the SageMaker Notebook instance. Um, this is not a requirement. You could also um, run your batch job from your local machine or using SageMaker Studio. The first step we need to do is to upgrade our SageMaker SDK and install the datasets library. I already have done this. So we can jump into the data pre-processing part. As mentioned, we are going to use a data set consisting out of tweets. Basically, it's like around 1800 tweets from different airline and the data set is um, one column in with the inputs header and then just the tweets. That, that's it. And to run our batch transform job using the Hugging Face DLC, we need to make sure that we are providing a JSON line file instead of a CSV file. So we need to convert our CSV to a JSON line file. And we can do this by simply opening the CSV file, opening the JSON line file using the CSV reader from Python, and then iterating through each row and creating a JSON and adding like the line at the end. Additionally, we are doing some processing and we are removing all the add tags in the data set to create proper entities instead of having all of the Twitter handle in our data set. Afterwards, we are uploading our data set to S3. Since when you use SageMaker batch transforms, you can and need to provide the inference data either as a S3 UI directly with the file or as a S3 directory to your SageMaker transform job. And after that, the, or basically the uploaded JSON line file um, looks like that. Then we can, the next step is to create a hiking phase model. It is pretty much similar to what you would do when creating a SageMaker endpoint. We create our hugging face model instance class. Since we are using a already fine-tuned model, we defining our hub configuration with our model ID and our task. In this case, we are using the Twitter Roberta base sentiment model, which was fine-tuned on 85 million tweets. So pretty good model, I would say. And instead of running the dot deploy method, we are running the dot transformer method, which creates our transformer class for our batch transform job. And in this, we are defining the instance types we want to use, which strategy we want to use, and where the results should be saved. After we have created our transformer, we can run the transform method, which will then start our batch transform job. And here we provide our S3 data, the content type of the data set and um, how we want to split the data set. So basically this um, will tell SageMaker how it should run inference. So in our example, we have a JSON line file cons consisting like of multiple JSON file each per row. And with the split type line, SageMaker will send each line as a separate request with um, the content type JSON to our yeah, endpoint or inference point and will then return it. So we have basically for each row one re request against our SageMaker um, batch transform. This will take now around five minutes to start and then I guess 30 seconds to run our nearly 2000 requests. Our batch transform job was successfully run. We can see here the, the output logs of our job. Firstly, our model from the hub got downloaded and when we scroll down a bit, here we can see the requests for each data point we had in our JSON line file. So as the next step, we can use again the SageMaker um, S3 utils to download our yeah, generated prediction output file from S3. And since we provided a JSON line file, the SageMaker batch transform job again created a JSON line file and this helper function converts it into a list, Python list, and then we can print out the first three results of it. And as we can see, it worked properly. Sadly, the labels of the model are not defined. 
so we cannot see like positive and negative but um, that's something you can change in the config from your model if you want to learn more about hugging face on amazon sagemaker we have a uh, nice detailed documentation at huggingface.co slash doc slash sagemaker bye